Hey everyone, it's Marco here, back once again from the My Color Screen channel, and welcome to the world of Android customization. Today's video is going to be on a home screen setup. That's right, it's bright, it's clean, it's simple, it's amazing, it's unique. Let us begin with today's video. Great everyone, so like I said, today's going to be a home screen tutorial and while I was browsing the My Color Screen site, I stumbled upon this one and I was like, wow, I simply have to do a video tutorial to help you get this set up on your phone. It is titled Urban by the Artist. I'm going to say this very wrong, I'm sorry about that, but it's, it's Ugueleman. Yeah, I'm sorry, I don't know how to, else to say it, but he just did a fantastic job with this setup. So having a closer look, you can obviously tell that it's got this three-page setup. It's got a brilliant, almost turquoise pastel blue that blends perfectly well with the white accents on each one of the pages. This page on the left comes with your time as well as some jump to shortcuts, such as say for your Hangouts, you can go jump right into your or SMSs, whatever you want over there, as well as for your Twitter. But of course, you can change all of that. Swiping to our middle page here, we've got your how much, how much emails you got. So it's not really the most functional page, but it's going for that artistic, just unique design that I don't know. I simply I, like I saw this and I was like, my, my color screen guys, you have to have this set up. Finally, this one on the left hand side has got your RSS news that just simply looks fantastic. It goes really well on this page, and of course, this is all very very simple to set up. So if you'd like to have this very theme on your phone, then let us begin with today's video tutorial. Great, so before we begin, just letting you know what apps and resources that you'll be needing in order to complete this very setup. Starting off with the apps that you'll be needing, you'll definitely need a uh, custom launcher. I'll be using Thema for this very one, or Thema Beta, as it is the official My Color Screen launcher, but you're welcome to use Nova Launcher, uh, SS Launcher, Apex Launcher, pretty much any launcher that you can handle as you're just adding in Zuper widgets. That's right, all three pages are mainly Zuper widgets, and that's why I said this is for the pure beginners. And as I mentioned, Zuper widget, that's right, you will be needing Zuper widget Pro for this very setup, and I say Pro because with the free version, you can't use custom templates, which is what we're gonna be using. So I do recommend going for Zuper Super Widget Pro. And then finally, I do always recommend it, a good file explorer. It is optional, but I do always recommend going for a good one, such as ES File Explorer, just to help copy and paste the Super Widget files into their specific location. Once you have all the necessary apps, the one thing you want to do is download the link in the description below. It's the resources containing the Super Widget files. Now, you either want to copy them onto your computer and extract them using an unzipping program, for example, WinRAR, or you can just copy it straight onto your phone and unzip it straight away using, say, ES File Explorer to extract them. But you do want to have that folder, that urban folder, on your phone. Once you've, ex your, once you've copied it onto your phone, you want to find where you've copied it, say, using your File Explorer, and there it is. So there's my urban file or my urban folder right there, and it comes with these three Zuper Widget files. As you can tell, they're Zuper Widget because they end in .zw. So once that's done, you want to select all three, you want to select copy, and now you want to go all the way back to your main SD card directory. And from here, you want to scroll all the way to the bottom and look for that Zuper Widget folder. Next up, you want to go into that folder and then go into that templates folder, which is where you'll be pasting in those Zuper Widget files. All you have to do is select paste and there it is done. So that is pretty much your setup done and that's all there is to know as next we're going to be customizing your launcher settings. Great, so like I said, I'm going to be using Thema for this very setup, but you're still welcome to use your own preferred launcher such as Nova Launcher, SS Launcher, Apex Launcher. All the settings are pretty much the same as we're only going to be adding in three Zuper widgets. So let's get to it. If you're using Thema right now and you've got any theme applied, you might be thinking, well, how exactly can I make my own themes? Well, this video is going to show you exactly how to do just that. All you'd have to do is start getting rid of all your widgets. So the first thing I recommend you do is to hold down on the home screen and select plus minus or plus slash minus home screens. You want to select it now and you want to change the number of home screens to be one. That's right. You're going to be adding in right one right now as it just makes it a lot quicker to delete all your widgets. From here, you just need to hold down on the home screen, select unlock widgets and then hold down on it and select remove. So from here, you just want to remove anything that you have currently going on depending if it's on icons or widgets, whatever, you just want to get rid of it so you have a completely blank screen. Now all you'd have to do is to hold down on the screen once again, select that plus minus home screens and you want to change it back to three. Count means how many home screens you have. So I'm just going to select set right now. So it's going to create three very home screens or blank home screens. So that's pretty much your blank home screen setup done. Next we're going to be jumping into the settings. All you'd have to do now is to hold down on the home screen once again, I'm just going to browse themes just to make it easier because I don't really have an app draw icon. 
From here, I'm gonna jump into my settings and then into advanced. Next up, we're gonna be going into the desktop settings, which is where we're gonna be changing quite a few things. First up will be the desktop grid size. Now it is a five by seven, but I'm gonna change it to a nine by seven because this seemed to work out very well on my Nexus 5 and probably a Nexus 4 as well. If you've got any other device, I do recommend going for a seven by six as this is what the author intended, especially if you're using a launcher such as Apex or Nova. I'm just gonna be selecting OK for now. So that's the desktop grid size done. Next up, your margins, you want to be on zero. The number of screens, like we did earlier, you wanna have three screens. And then finally, you wanna have these three enabled, four three sizable widgets, allow overlapping widgets, and then remove widget padding. You do wanna have that notification bar disabled, however. Remember, if you're using any other launcher, you'll still be able to find each one of these settings in their respective folders accordingly. So like with Nova, it'll be in the desktop settings or in the look and feel. From here, you want to go into docs so to save it has a dock. You want to definitely have that disabled. You don't need a dock for this very setup. And that's pretty much it. I'm just going to select back now, go back out of everything, and it should all reconfigure everything. So now you're ready for this very setup. Great, so in order to add in these Zupa widgets, remember there's only three that you need to add in. I'm going to start on the very left-hand side right here with my very first Zupa widget. All you'd have to do is hold down on the home screen, select app slash widgets, and from here you want to jump into your widgets. Now all you want to do is scroll to your Zupa widgets, and from here you just need to drag down or hold down and place any one, any size of Zupa widget. It doesn't really matter what size, as you want to hold down on it, select resize, and you want to make it take up the entire home screen like I've done right here. You want to tap back now, and you want to tap the screen, and from here you want to select SD card. Now as you can tell, they pop up straight away, the Urban Inbox, the Urban 2, and the Urban RSS. I'm gonna start off with that Urban RSS reader. Doesn't really matter what order you go for, but I'm just gonna start off with this one. As you can tell, it looks all well and good. It's not, it's not distorted in any way, and if I select back, let's just see what it looks like. And that looks amazing. Now, if there's any line at the bottom whatsoever, there was a faint blue line from my previous wallpaper. It's pretty much a pixel in, in height. Then all you'd have to do is change that wallpaper to say a black wallpaper or white wallpaper, and it looks a whole lot better. So that's the first widget or Zupa widget done. Now on my main screen here, I'm gonna do exactly the same thing. Hold down, select app slash widgets, go into my widgets, and then scroll all the way to Zupa widgets. Remember guys, Thema is still in beta, and please remember that it is, I can't stress highly enough that it is still a beta. So all these features are getting redesigned, they're getting continuously improved on, just to make your theming experience a whole lot better. So just keep that in mind. We're gonna hold down again, select resize on it, so make sure that it takes up the entire home screen like that. I'm gonna select the skin, go into my SD card, and now I'm just gonna be selecting the Urban Inbox just like that. Now, all I have to do is because it's got the author's email address, which is, I don't really wanna have his email address on my home screen, so I'm just gonna select the one here that comes with it. I'm gonna select that rich text one. Remember, that's the one that's got his email address. You wanna scroll down now and you want to select edit text manually now all you have to do is to select it and just put in your own email address or just put in any anything else you want really just to make sure that it's just so it makes it feel a bit more personal so i'm just going to put in my own one like this so once that's done i'm just going to select the tick and it'll then configure it accordingly now remember if you have no idea how to use zupa widget then i do recommend that you check in the link in the description below for a complete guide on how to use this fantastic Apps. So from here, all you'd have to do is now you can start changing each one of the different modules to open up different apps. You could just call it hotspots as you want as if you select a certain area, it'll open up your say Gmail for example. And by that I mean say it says inbox there. So if I select this rich text module right here, and if I scroll a bit down, it says widget on tap action and it says Gmail. Now that is my preferred email app. So if you want to change it, you're going to just select it swipe to the app list and then change it to your preferred email like or email app. So I'm just gonna keep it as Gmail as that's my preferred one, but I do recommend changing it if you say use your stock Samsung one or whichever one you prefer. And now you're still welcome to add in your own hotspots to each one of these modules that appear on each on the screen and same goes for the other Zupa widget as well. But I'm just gonna leave it like this. I think it looks amazing. Let's see you go back and it does look a whole lot better. So we just have to add in this last one and I'm just gonna speed through it a bit. The one I chose here was that one called Urban 2. Now the one thing to take note, and you're gonna have to do this to each one of those Zupa widgets, is as you can tell, I've gone back into my main menu here, 
the one that says widget settings and it has a main one here that says widget on tap action now what does this mean is that say if I had to select any blank area around here that I haven't configured as a hotspot it's going to open up this Zupa widget editor which is what I don't want I can even show you that what it's going to look like if I say it's been set now I'm just going to select it in this middle area and it opens this up which is I don't want that at all it irritates me beyond belief so from here I'm going to go into my widget on tap action and I want to make that disabled which means is that if I start tapping on the screen nothing will happen at all which is what I want but say if I want to go to Twitter I can just select go Twitter and bam it pops up straight away amazing so you want to do that for this one as well just select it widget on tap action and disable bam done quick and simple it's it's really really good now this one over here all you'd have to do is you can see that there's something missing and that's our RSS reader so all you have to do is to add that in now remember I'm just gonna select this now go into my widget on tap action and make it disabled because why we don't need to add in anything on this widget whatsoever so let's finally add in that RSS reader great so because maybe you haven't set up a gesture to open up say your app drawer or your favorite such as say if you swipe up and it opens up my favorites like that if you haven't done that remember you can always just do that later on but for now this is just a quick get around you can hold down on a widget select resize so get some space right here and from here I want to hold down on the screen and select app slash widgets as from here I'm going to be adding in the theme RSS widget comes built in which is really really cool you don't have to download it or anything it comes built in so from here I'm going to hold down on it drag it down and it brings up my settings that I want to add such as my feeds and my appearance now from here I'm going to straight away select my feeds now this has really been customized for me I've set it up earlier because it's with theme it remembers everything but for example you want to add remove if you want to remove something you can just select the X like that and it deletes it or if you want to add an RSS feed you can just select add RSS feed from here and choose whatever else that you want from here you just want to select back go into your appearance settings now as there's some things that you want to change here just to make this look amazing so from here you want to deselect you can't have these enabled but I just deselected them anyway so from here I just enabled my news title and my news text now my news title I made pretty big I think I went for a 24 and you just want to make it bold and light at the same time but as always you are welcome to make it whatever else that you want this blue is pretty much the same color so all I did was change the saturation right here I'd use the little slider and made it quite or oh, less saturated but I'm just gonna select OK because I just want it to be a much lighter blue and same applies for the news text so you can make them pretty much the same color now all you want to do is to make sure that no images are enabled and for the background you want to make that completely transparent so you move that alpha bar all the way to the left hand side that's pretty much it you can also change that icon transparency to make it completely transparent but don't worry they will still be there and I'll show you those now so if I go back and back again there it is you just need to wait a bit for it to refresh there it is like that and as you can tell it looks a whole lot better and if you want to get to that edit button again it's on that bottom right hand side right there as you can tell it just pops up like that and for your refresh button it's on the top right hand side as you can see it's updating right now now one thing you might notice and it hasn't been implemented in Thema just yet is that option to say send to back so all you'd have to do if say I hold down on this right here select resize as you can tell it is on top of this Zupa widget but for example if it's say behind it all you have to do is to move one to the other page and then shift it back on so it, it is a quick fix and it's very easy just to get right so I'm just gonna resize this one now just like that and then hold down on this one right here select resize and bam it fits in perfectly but like I said if it doesn't you might want to be changing that desktop grid size so there we go our RSS reader looks a whole lot better and that is our theme complete guys so thanks very much guys for watching if you enjoyed this video please give us a thumbs up as well as to please subscribe to the my color screen channel if you haven't already you also definitely don't want to miss out on the theme app it's amazing it's incredible it's that one click theming launcher that pretty much does everything for you all in one click you all you have to do is click apply so you definitely want to go check it out other than that it's Marco here from the my color screen channel and as always don't stop customizing